butterflies, Jin here, and welcome back to Bluntly Honestly. And if you are brand new, hi, hello, and welcome. I hope you enjoyed today's video as well. So before I get started, please do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe and share this video with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. So as I have talked about before in previous videos, I'm a affiliate with Gerard Cosmetics. And one of the perks of being an affiliate is being able to let you guys know when there are huge sales coming on. And this coming weekend is going to be a huge sale. It is Gerard Cosmetics' biggest sale of the year. So it is going to be 53% off store-wide, free shipping on orders over $29 for the USA and international as well. And so a bunch of us ladies in the affiliate program decided to put together some videos showcasing some of our favorite products and sharing them with you guys. So if you have been curious about how certain products look and perform, we'll be able to go ahead and show you guys how they perform on different skin types, different skin tones, hair color, all of that. So there will be a list in the description box below with all the other wonderful ladies who are in this giant collab. Please do me a favor and check them all out as well. So I'm going to start with my brows because that's the first thing I normally do. And for that, I'm going to be using a mixture of the Gerard Cosmetics Brow Bar To Go Medium to Ebony. And this product has two different shades as well as a wax so that you can set your brow hairs down before you apply the product. And on top of that, I am also going to be using my Cabrow by Benefit. This is shade 4. So I'm just going to speed through this little part of me doing my brows so you guys can see how the product that I'm talking about, the Brow Bar To Go, performs. So I'm going to say it now before I get it in the comments. I know my brow game sucks. And trust me, it is a daily struggle to get my eyebrows to even attempt to look normal. Because they either don't grow or this one will grow ridiculously fast. While this one is super, super thin and slow and patchy. Thank you, mom, for having me in the 90s. Where I had to grow up with the 90s eyebrow. Anyways, so I really, really love the brow bar to go. It is my go-to grab even on some days when I don't want a full on block big brow like this. I will just grab this and fill in my brows. It is super pigmented, so a little goes a long way. And it really, really does a great job building with the natural hairs you already have and blending in nicely. I love it for like a gentle fade in brow or even the thick um, blocky brows like I do. I think this is a perfect go-to. They have this one, which is the medium to ebony, and they also have a blonde version, which is a lot lighter. I'll put a picture in here, and it does come with a little brush. So this is the brush that comes with the brow bar to go. Like I said, there is no spoolie on the end. It's just the shadow, the um, brow brush. So next, I'm going to show you my three BB Plus illuminations. I put this on before I put on my moisturizer and all that. So I have Grace, Dorothy, and Bridget. So this one is Grace. And honestly, Grace is my favorite go-to. It is a very nice icy gold. This one is Dorothy, which is a gold gold. And these do blend into the skin beautifully and melt into your skin and it leaves a nice radiant glow underneath your foundation. And last but not least is the pink rose gold shade. This is Bridget. Honestly, I will put Bridget on when I'm having a no makeup day and I just wanna be like not have full face makeup. I will put Bridget on and just put my um, moisturizer because it really gives your face that nice subtle like natural glow. 
And with my skin tone, I do have pink and yellow undertones. So I feel like Bridget is one of my favorites for just a natural glow. But on most days, I will use Grace. So they do have four shades all together. The other shade they have is Sophia, which is more of a pure gold tone. I have all three of these because when I got my first PR order, I ordered a three pack that had all three in them. If you guys remember, I did a live stream where I unboxed these. I'm also going to be showing you what I got my last PR order, which is what I'm going to put on before I actually even apply my BB Plus. I'm going to go ahead and spray my face, and I'm going to spray it with the Mystified. So this is a hydrating facial spray, so you're supposed to put it on before and or after you apply your makeup application to keep your skin hydrated and smooth. It is fantastic for a parched or dull complexion. Keeps your skin dewy while keeping your makeup fresh and radiant for hours. So this is the Mystified. As you can see, I don't know if you can see it on camera, it is slightly pink toned. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this. Hmm. That is actually very refreshing. I'm not really getting a smell with it. And again, this is my first time using it because I got it in my PR package. So first impression of this, I like it that there is really no scent to it. Like, let me take the lid off and smell again because yeah, there's really no scent to it. That's actually impressive. This is the little brush that I use to apply my BB Plus. This is a Pro Mini Flawless Airbrush from Sephora that I got years and years ago. I love it to apply this and because it just applies it very nicely. So I'm going to be using Grace. And one thing to keep in mind with the BB Plus, a little goes a long way so you do not need a whole lot at all. You see what I mean by a light, subtle shine. It's not so shiny that it makes your face look greasy. In fact, it makes it just look like it has a very natural, healthy glow. So I'm gonna do my eyeshadow, and I'm just gonna fast forward that real quick because I'm gonna be using a Gerard Cosmetics eyeliner. But I don't—they don't have shadows yet. Fingers crossed, we get eyeshadows in 2019. Okay, so now that I went ahead and cut my craft crease, I'm gonna do something a little different. I wanna put a little bit of color of a glitter on my lid right here. And so what I'm gonna use is the, the Gerard Cosmetics Starlet Palette. And this has Lucy, Marilyn, and Grace. They are such beautiful colors. I'm going to pop into Marilyn right here in the middle. I'm gonna put that on the lid. So as you can see, it is such a very, very beautiful goldish 
tone highlighter it works really really good as shadow as well as long as you have a little bit of wet concealer it will stick you don't even have to wet your brush just pat it on okay so before I do my liner and all that I'm gonna go ahead and do my face um none of the face products that I am using for my base is going to be George Co Gerard cosmetics so I'm just going to speed through it all. I will show what I'm using just for those who are interested, but I'm not really going to talk about it until I get back into the dry products. All right, so now for a little bit of bronzer, and what I normally use is the Honeymoon palette. There are, there's only one bronzer in here, and it's hashtag forever, and that's this one right here. This one is wiped up, and it is a blush, but honestly, I like how these two look um, blended together. So that is hashtag forever. And then this is the wiped up blush. So I hope you can tell those two shades blended together. Let me show you. So right here are these two blended together and that's honestly like a gorgeous bronze, like a nice sun-kissed bronze. And I really don't need much because I went a little heavy with my bronzer. So as you can see, those two blended together are so, so pretty. Like it is a nice, natural, subtle glow. I love it. So yeah, that is the Wifed Up and Hashtag Forever. And this palette is still available on the Gerard Cosmetics website. So if you really, and honestly, I like this palette because it has that bronzer and two blushes. So really it is quite really a very, very versatile palette. It, like again, it's perfect for on the go. Same thing with the Starlet palette. You have your three shades of highlighter. They're perfect. And honestly, this is a really good like skin tone range palette if you're gonna have a kit because you have a very dark highlighter and then it just gradually gets lighter and lighter. So before I do my highlighter and blush, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face and I'm gonna be using the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Spray. I am almost out. Personally, during the sale, I'm gonna be buying the Garden Party Set, which is lemongrass, cucumber, and I think lavender. And it's in the um, minis section. So this is the cucumber spray and I am almost out. 
So I'm just gonna spray this and then I'm gonna do my highlighter and blush. Katie says hi again. So this is the Cucumber Setting Spray. It's very refreshing, very um, soothing. I'm do my highlighter and let me go ahead real quick and swatch for you all the different highlighters. So the only single highlighter shade I have is Grace and this is what the um, star powder look like. It's a very small compact and it has a little protective door over it. Very, very nice. Again, for traveling and storing your kit, I love it. But if you want a little bit more than just the one, there is the Starlet palette. And again, this one has Lucy, Marilyn, and Grace. So let me go ahead and swatch these so you can see how they look. So you have Lucy, Marilyn, and Grace. Grace is my go-to favorite. It is such a pretty, pretty highlighter. It's more for my skin tone, but this is just so you can see the range of highlighter tones that they do offer. Okay, so I'm going to apply Grace. I'm just gonna put a little bit here. here my nose I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger and go right here and then blend it out perfect and then a little bit on my chin on my forehead down my nose so I'm going to use the blush inside the honeymoon palette and this is first class there's a swatch for you. And this one, I do go very, very light handed because it's a very, very pigmented blush. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a liner and I really hate doing liner on camera, but I want you guys to see how this liner performs. This is the Gerard Cosmetics Eternal Liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward doing this so you guys can still see me doing it, but it's gonna be So I have to be honest about the eyeliner. It is definitely not my favorite, but I'm not a big fan of pot liners like this anyways. I prefer a pencil, but it is really, really good. It does not go anywhere, it does not budge. It dries super, super fast, which is a good thing and a bad thing because if you are accident prone like myself and you mess up, it's gonna be kind of hard to fix that mess up because it dries super quick. Like within seconds of you applying it, it's dry. So even on the brush, so if you're applying it, you have to dip it multiple times. At least for me, I feel like I'm constantly having to dip it back into the pot. I do like the applicator because it is a very thin felt tip. So it applies thick or then, depending on how hard you push and how you angle it. Honestly, I, I use it all the time. I'm actually almost out because it is one of my favorite liners for lastability because I can put it on and wear it all day and I won't have like the nasty smudges in the corner of my eyes. So I honestly, I, I do suggest it if you want a long lasting liner, but be warned it does dry super, super fast. So I'm gonna do my mascara and Gerard Cosmetics does not have a mascara yet. So I'm gonna use my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. See, I love this mascara because it volumizes and lifts the lashes so much that you don't even need um, falsies half the time. I'm gonna need lipstick and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all the Gerard lipsticks that I have. So that way you guys have an idea. 
So before I put these on, I'm gonna start by using the Buttercream Lip Scrub. So I just got this with my PR credits and honestly, I really like it. Um, the only lip scrubber I've used before is from e.l.f. and it's the Brown Sugar Lip Scrub. This one is Buttercream and it just smells heavenly. The only bad thing is my fingers are too long to go in there so I have to use my nails to scoop it out. <laughs> So I'm going to take a little bit out and we're just going to scrub real quick. Honestly, I would suggest scrubbing your lips before you put on any liquid lipstick just because it helps. Normally I would do this at the very, very beginning, but I wanted to show you guys how it works. So. So the first shade of the Shine Your Smile um, lip gloss, this is Sugar Mama. I really love these lip glosses because they have light on them. So if you're doing your lipstick at night, like at the, at the club, at the party or whatever, or just in the car, because <laughs> you know, we don't go to parties here. The only bad thing is the ones I got are broke, so I have to hold the button down when I use it. So I honestly love how pigmented these glosses are. This one I bought and I really don't feel like it's a good shade for my skin tone, but it's really pretty. These, these glosses are super, super pigmented. They don't feel sticky. Like when you put them on, it does not feel super, super sticky on your lips. Like some glosses feel really thick and slimy. These do not at all. So this next shade is a Hydra Matte and this is Skinny Dip. So I'm not putting liner on because I want you guys to see like the pigment of these, line, these lips alone. I'm not putting liner on because I want you guys to see the pigmentation of the Hydra Mattes alone without liner. Gerard Cosmetics does have a full line of liners for each lipstick shade. If you like to do liners with your lipstick, go ahead and check them out. So this is Skinny Dip. And the thing I really love about these Hydra Mattes they are very, very soft and not thick like at all. Like you can't even tell you're wearing them. Like if you smile, it moves with your lips. I've had liquid lipsticks, I'm not gonna name names, who are so drying when I smile, they stick right here in the lines and creases of my lip and cracked. That was a very miserably at work. <laughs> So this shade's actually not bad. I've been terrified to wear this one for a while. Like, I got this one in my very, very first PR order, and I'm honestly in love with it. Like, okay, it's pretty. I love it. So yeah, if you've been terrified to try Night Rider, I say jump at it. <laughs> so that is it. I have swatched for you every single bit of Gerard Cosmetics that I own, except for my Slay Away the Day, which, let me go grab it. So this is the Slay Away the Day Balm, and this is coconut oil to first and foremost. It's mainly coconut oil with fragrance and alcohol and all that. So be warned that if you have this summer where it gets cold, it will get hard. And so it takes some warming up to get it out. So I'm going to show you how it works by using it to take off my lipstick. So 
so that was all of my Gerard Cosmetics products that I own. And like I said, some of it was PR, some of it I bought with my own money. A lot of us girls who are in the affiliate program just thought this would be a really fun collab to show off our collection so you guys would have different opinions and thoughts and views on the products, how they apply for different people, different skin tones and all that. So I will have my affiliate link in the description box down below so you guys can shop through my link. And if you want to check out all the other girls in this collab, I will have their channel links in the description box as well. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I apologize if it was long. <laughs> I I've been doing long videos lately and I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. <laughs> So the sale will start Friday on the 1st at 9 a.m. Pacific time and it will end Monday the 4th at midnight. So make sure you guys check the sale out because again, it is 53% off store-wide, free shipping in US and international. So you're not gonna wanna miss this deal. And do me a favor, comment down below and let me know if there is anything in Pacific that you are interested that I showed you or any product in particular you're interested that I did not show and any you would be interested in seeing me review. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe. And if you want to join the hashtag Butterfly Squad, make sure you ring my bell because that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. And with that, I am gonna go like moisturize and put a bunch of chapstick on my lips because they are so sore right now. <laughs> I did not believe I was going to be able to swatch all those, but I did it. I did it for you guys because I love you. So yeah, I wish you guys lots of love and whiskers, and I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye. Thinking it's time I